YouTubers, how are you going today? This is uh, FBR, Fire and Warrior Reef here. So today of my episode, I'm going to sh uh, talk about using uh, magnesium tester from Saltrate. Um, you get 50 tests in here. Uh, it's very important to uh, keep your magnesium uh, levels in check because your calcium won't be absorbed by all your corals in your tank if you don't have your magnesium. Because you, with magnesium, magnesium and uh, calcium are very close together. You need an ion from calcium and an ion from magnesium to combine and work together in your tank. So if you don't have enough magnesium, your corals won't absorb the calcium because they need the magnesium and vice versa. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some uh, water from my tank. So I just got some water from my sump, all right? So what you're gonna do, so in your test here, what you have is uh, you're gonna get a little syringe. Uh, you're gonna fill this up to two milliliter mark on here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna fill this up with your aquarium water. So you're just gonna tap the air bubbles out of here. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna move the plunger to the two mil mark. So let's move it there. All right, so there we go. I got it at the two mil mark, if you guys can see it. You're gonna place that in the vial. So you're good. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna place, what I usually do is place it back in the box. So that part's done. All right, so next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get this other little uh, test tube here. It's a MG1. You're gonna put five drops of this into your aquarium water, the two mil. So let's do that together. Let's count them out. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's done now. So we're just gonna put that back into the box as well. <clears throat> so you're gonna take this vial that you just put the MG1 in and you're gonna shake it for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so that was the, we just put the MG1 solution in there, shook that for 30 seconds. All right, so we're next we're gonna do is move on to the MG2 uh, powder. All right, so we're gonna open that up. You're gonna take the little spoon that comes in the box with it and we're gonna fill up the spoon, the tip here, and you're gonna make it level. So usually if you just rub it on the side, it works pretty good. So you wanna make sure that's level, so that's level now, and we're gonna dump that in there. So we put that in. So now put your little spoon back in the box as well. So we're done that part, and we're done with the MG2. So we're gonna put the close that up so we don't spill it, put it back in the box, so now it's all back together as well. So now we're gonna shake this for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's mixed up now. We got there. So next, we're gonna take the MG3. All right, we're gonna open that up. We're gonna put the cap to the side. Next, we're gonna grab the syringe, all right? So with the syringe here, there's a, a one mil mark on the side, you can see. You're gonna take the plunger, and we're gonna fill this up. So we're gonna stick this into the solution. I like just go through a couple times, get the air bubbles out, raise it all the way to the top, and then we're gonna put the plunger right here at the one mil mark. So there we go, it's at the one mil mark. So we're gonna put the syringe down, put the cover back on so we don't spill it. We'll put that to the side. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding this to the solution of our aquarium water, and as we're doing it, we keep uh, shaking it. You wanna see this turn blue, then we know we're at our mark. So we just add, I add a little bit at the start because I know I'm pretty good. So mix that up, still purple guys. Add a couple more, add three more drops. Keep going, to, you're gonna to want to see this be uh, clear blue. As soon as it gets to the clear blue mark, we know we have our, uh, our answer of what's going on in our tank. See what our parts per million are for magnesium. Few more drops, keep shaking it, shake it. See it's starting to turn, there's purple now. It's almost a blue, a couple more, I think one or two more. There we go. All right, so now it's blue guys, you see that? So now we can take this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the side. And if I read it, it's in by five. So I'm at zero point, what do I got, zero point 0.15. So I'm at 0 0.15. So now what you do is you take your 0 0.15 and in the box, it comes with the magnesium chart. So on your chart, it's gonna show you all the numbers. So like, we're gonna look on here for 0 0.015, and then we'll know what our magnesium level is. So if I look on here, 0 0.015, I am at between 
14 and 16 on my chart. So if I go between uh, 14 and 16, that's about uh, 12, uh, 1260, 1200, 1260 parts per million of magnesium that's in my tank. And I need to bring that up to at least 13, 1320. So if we do the math, because now we know that my tank is low on magnesium, I need to raise those levels because now my corals aren't using the calcium in my tank properly and then you don't get good coral growth. All right, so let me just, I'm gonna do the math here, figure this out. So we know that we want to be, if we do the math, the other thing is to do, I'll get part of this, is you get here, you get this book, get a book from like the dollar store or something and give yourself like a, a saltwater tank reef diary. Very important. So I just put Sunday, March 15th on here and magnesium, what I'm testing. And then we can do that all week and we can gradually see what our tank is using. So I'm just gonna write down, so I know that I'm at 1260. So we'll put 1260 on here and then we're gonna subtract the 1350. That'll give us how much our uh, dosage is of part per million. So if I do this right now, so I'm, I'm missing 90 par, uh, parts per million of magnesium. So I use, I use Kent, Kent Marine magnesium and it says quarter teaspoon will raise my tank water 18.3 parts per million every quarter teaspoon. So if I write this down, do the math, and I take my 90, so I need to dose almost five doses of that. I almost need to dose five doses of this, a uh, quarter uh, tablespoon, and that'll bring my 90 parts per million, 90 parts per million of magnesium back up to what it needs to be so my tank can use the calcium properly in my tank. So I'm gonna start dosing that. I'm gonna add my five uh, tables, tablespoons of uh, magnesium uh, from uh, Kent here and that'll put my magnesium uh, back up to where it needs to be. Um, so the next one I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna do my calcium, show you guys, because if you don't have your magnesium, that means your calcium's out of whack. So you want your calcium calcium to be where it needs to be, and you need to get your magnesium where it needs to be. So I, ho I hope this helps you guys, because I know I have myself like looking on YouTube and trying to figure this out like a lot when I first got into the reef tanks, magnesium. I like these kits, the sulfur kits, they're very easy. There's not much really to them. And you just uh, get another box when you need to get it. And uh, so yeah, that's it. That's, that's how you test magnesium, it's pretty simple. I just always wanted a video where you just saw the person slowly putting it in there. So it hopefully helps, helps you guys. So hope you guys like this video. You know, please uh, hit me up or leave any comments and I can help you guys out with your testing. And very, very handy to have your like reef diary. So I'm gonna track this for a week and then I can see it every day what it's using and then I can dose with a dosing system or in your RO water how much I can just scoop full, put that in my RO water or use my dosing pumps to feed my tank. All right guys, thanks for watching uh, FBR Fire Boy Reef here and uh, please hit the like button, hit a little comment out, thanks guys. <laughs>